Hey everyone, this is Alice from scrapbookwonderland.com and the Scrap Happy Membership Group. And we are here today for Scrapbook Live, which is a monthly, basically a scrapbook, online scrapbook crop that I like to do. It's so much fun. And Marg, Marge, I got to meet you in person. That was so exciting. Um, we have a bunch of people in the room already right now, and we are going to hopefully craft together. If I'm just keeping you company for the day, that's fine too. But hopefully you will be crafting and scrapping up a storm with me. Um, I just came back from Calgary, Alberta. I am in White Court, which is five hours north of there. And I got to visit a bunch of booths at the Great Canadian Scrapbook Carnival. Now, two weekends ago, I went to the one in Edmonton, and then this weekend, I went to the one in Calgary. I made some videos. We are, like, hurrying in the editing department. Okay, so not me. Like, my husband is actually super great, and so he's hurrying in the editing department to get all my videos edited and uploaded so you guys can see some of the cool new things out there and some different companies that are doing scrappy stuff. I even went and did a couple of tours of some scrapbook stores. So it's something that I'm going to try to do a little bit as much as I can here coming up. So just fun things ahead. Um, yeah, so I am now going to get started, but <laughs> normally this is the point where I show you what is in my wild hair kit, and I love my kits from wild hair. So the creator of the wild hair is Allison Girling, and she puts together custom curated kits. So every month when you order a kit, you don't have to commit to any kind of commitment. If you want a kit, you order a kit. So when you order a kit, you put together a style profile of things that you like, things that you don't like, and you know, things that maybe you want her to surprise you with. And then you get your kit and it's all, it kind of glows, goes together without being too super matchy matchy. So it doesn't have to just be one line from one company. She'll take a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then you bring them together and it's like, Oh, magical happens. And that is the great thing about using the kits. The ungreat thing about me this month is that I placed my order a little bit late. And so by the time Allison was able to ship it to me, it hasn't arrived. And so I sent her a message. I'm like, Allison, I don't have my kit. And unless it magically arrives, well, Friday, I won't have it. Um, so she said, I got your back. I will put together a scrappy challenge. And so she put together a whole board of challenges. Um, and I shared this on your email. So the email with the link for today should have had that. And it's also on my blog. So scrapbookwonderland.com. Um, there is the board there, but there's also a little link right above the picture of the board where you can actually download that board if you want to play along with me and take the scrappy challenge. So this is what it looks like. And that was specially made for us for today from Allison with the wild hair kits. So, yay. Thank you, Allison, for covering my butt with that. And I, I can't do every single thing on the sheet. I will say that would be amazing. Um, but I have circled about eight, which is half of the squares on here. And I think I can pull off like using at least eight of these challenges today. So wish me luck. If I'm forgetting something, remind me and say, hey Alice, weren't you gonna do that thing? So here are the things on the challenge sheet. Use only self-adhesive embellishments on one page. I don't have a bunch of self-adhesive embellishments, so I've got like some enamel dots and some washi tape, and I guess I have thickers, although do you consider those self-adhesive? Because they just fall right off. Like, come on, we know we have to glue those on. So technically, I probably could maybe do that one, but the next one says use five products from non-American crafts designers on a page. I got it. I can totally do it. Now, American Crafts has some amazing designers, but I've recently been introduced to some other ones that are not from American Crafts, and I'm in love, so I think that's going to be really fun. Use one of the following prompts. I wonder, I believe, I can't imagine, or I love. So that should be good. I think I should probably draw a circle on that because I think I can use that. 
Um, next, find a design from the Wild Hair Kits blog to use as your inspiration. Now, I seriously looked one of these up, and I don't know, maybe I did it on my phone, and I can't find my the one I wanted to use. But I've moved on. I can't find it right now, so I will probably not get that one done. Create a monochromatic layout. I have a whole bunch of colorful stuff here, and it's probably not going to be monochromatic, so not for today. But use only six by six or six by eight sheets on one layout. Now, I don't know if I'll do this or not yet, but I was thinking for my pocket page, I have this little six by six pack of paper from Elizabeth Craft Designs, and it is called Through the Lens Metal Series. And so all the papers look like metal. Um, I actually, here's a good sample on the back. I can pull some more out. Um, but this was when you renewed your subscription for the Creative Scrapbooker magazine at the carnival, you got a free little prize. It was this or some adhesive. And I'm like, that looks like funky paper. Hook me up. So I got some of this cool paper. And I think it would work for my September pocket page spread. So I think maybe, just don't let me forget, okay? So I think we can make that work. Um, the next one says, create a layout starting with a base of white cardstock. I could totally do this on my 12 by 12 page, but I've got too many pretty papers. I don't know if I can. I don't know, maybe. Uh, next up, mix products from three different collections on, on one layout. I think we get that one in the bag. I think that's going to be a gimme. Create a title by combining more than two different sets of alphas. So I have pulled out um, these alphas. They're called Charming. And I love them. They are pink with some white and black on them. And, you know, we got my colors going on. Like, you look around here, it's like a pink explosion. I don't know. So, you know, I gotta, you gotta know I love that. And then I really like these ones. They're white and they are like brush lettering, hand lettering. So I thought those are cute. They're called Hazel. And so I've got both of those handy. But in one of my previous kits from the Wild Hair Kits, I had these awesome sparkle letters. from, And so I thought those were really good. Janet says, hi everyone, I finally made it. <laughs> Yay. So welcome. Um, I started a couple minutes late, so you're barely missing anything. So that is what I brought up for letters. Um, use a cut file. Um, yeah, I don't really do a lot of cut files because uh, I tend to be tech averse. However, I've been having fun with, fun with the ones that Allison sends me in the kits. So the kit that I'm ordered for this month, I'm actually going to use next month, but she said there will still be a free giveaway for today. And then of course we'll have a free giveaway next month. So it's all good. <laughs> uh, Fancy Scrapper says, I'm also tech averse. It's so much better way of saying like, I can't do technology. I'm a little tech averse. <laughs> um, next one says, well, okay, so does this count? Oh, do I have it here? I did have it here. Uh, yeah, so I totally have it here. This would count, right? Like as a cut file, even if I don't do the cutting myself. Uh, I've got some of these in a little notepad, and they're pretty cute. And they, they're they like kind of like a cut file, right? Would that count? I'll keep it handy. I'll keep it handy. So they're like paper lace from uh, DCWV. So. We'll keep it handy just in case. Because um, then we could pull the cut file in. Like anytime I can like check off one of these things, I want to try to go for it, right? Um, include at least two photos of you on a layout. Okay, like that one's going to be like check, check, check. Like no problem. Apparently I am one of those few people in the world that has no problem scrapbooking about herself. Fancy Scrapper says, I've been thinking of using my alpha dies lately. And Janet says, I love my big kick too. Still kicking. Uh, love my Sizzix as Fancy Scrapper. Um, oh, yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Fancy Scrubber has the turquoise and black big kick. I have the big shot and mine is pink. <laughs> You're surprised, right? <laughs> that it has pink on it. It's pink and black. Um, use at least three different sparkly embellies. Yeah, I think we got that one in the bag. Um, repurpose any holiday item for a non-holiday use. Um, possibly, we could possibly do that I don't know we'll see create and layout with an off-season color scheme so I don't know if we'll get there because we're kind of gonna do some fallish stuff it's September and I've got some papers that lean towards fall even if we're not like going hardcore into the fall colors um, fall colors while I like them they're getting into that darker more muted palette my shirt is a nod to the fall colors. Um, but here lately, it feels like we skipped fall. We've gone straight into winter. There's literally snow sitting on the grass in my yard. So, you know, I'm kind of like almost giving up on this whole fall thing. Hannah says, imagine that, Alice in pink. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, so finally, we've got two more. Use a black and white photo on a page. I specially printed a black and white photo. This is me and my girlfriends from high school. Some of my high school pals. We got together recently. I printed a color version, but then I thought, ooh, I might do this on the page. And I kind of started printing, and then I'm like, ooh, that's a good one. Um, and then finally, make journaling or pocket page cards with leftover papers, die cuts, and stickers. I think we can do that, right? We'll use up our stuff. So out of these, I'd say we'll try to check off as many from the list. If you're scrapping, maybe pick one, pick two, pick 16, your toys. I think um, it's going to be a lot of fun and we'll try to check them off along the way. Now I kind of teased you and told you that I went to Calgary. Um, so before I dive into the actual scrapbooking, I'm going to show you a couple things from there. Um, before the videos even come out, I got a chance to meet the amazing Pam Bray. She designs for, oh my gosh, it was like a few different amazing companies. We had a really great chat. It was so, she's so, so nice. And she did like a little demo with me and she made this fabulous tag. It was so great. There's embossing on there. There's stamping. She did some masking. She did oh, just everything. So that was fun. And then I also did a demo with, um, Oh my gosh, it still smells. Um, with the Wild Wild Whisper, and Wild Whisper is a company out of Calgary. So this one, we did grateful for this day. Cute little cabin. I fussy cut the cabin, even though we were doing a demo. She was showing me stuff, and she's like, "Here, cut this out." I'm like, "Awesome!" <laughs> she got me involved. And then this tree is embossed with this embossing powder that has some flocking in it. So it's a little bit fuzzy and it smells like pine. That's why I'm smelling it. The embossing powder actually smells like pine. It's called pine dreams. Oh my gosh. So that's from wild whisper. And then from a company called scrap shots, which is an online retailer. Um, we did a cute Carla Youngworth actually did this cute little make and take with me and super sweet. So cute. Look at the little penguin in there. Oh my gosh. There's a glitter. So guys, you know, like I, as much as I love glitter, this scrapbook room does not have glitter in it. <laughs> like it has glitter glue, but not actual like loose powdery glitter because you know it gets on everything. So, you know, I used actual glitter and I managed to keep myself from becoming like a piece of glitter confetti. <laughs> Hannah says, I love all those tags. Oh my gosh, they were adorable. So there will be videos coming out right away. I know he's working on editing right now, so that's awesome. Okay. Let's get started on the layouts. Keep keeping my checklist handy. And let's see, I'm gonna move some of these photos out of the way. And some of these are gonna be for the, the pocket page. So the way this normally works is I do a 12 by 12 layout. 
Then I do the draw for the free kit, and then I work on my pocket page. I will not torture you by making you watch my journaling, so the journaling will be added after, but the rest of it will just be here live on camera, so hopefully that uh, works out well, and when I get stumped, I will turn to you for your expert advice, <laughs> and if you, um, yeah, like at some point, I would love to have you showing off anything that you're creating too. So normally when I do my 12 by 12 layout, I do a page that has, let's see, like one photo, usually a really large photo, but I'm like trying something new, going for the challenge. And this one says include at least two photos of you on a layout. So I have here some pictures. I went to my friends and she had a bunch of apples from the trees and we peeled, chopped, cut apples and made a whole bunch of apple desserts. So I have a picture of me with the apples. And uh, for detail shots, we got some apples and we got the apple desserts. And then we have one with some of my friends in it, that one at the bottom. And then my friend's daughter get also helping. And then we have the picture of the four of us together. Now, <laughs> this was almost a cheat because I printed this one in black and white because I didn't feel that the colors really went together very well. Uh, let me show you. It's not super bad. So I'm wearing this lovely pink shirt. Why did I not wear red? When we were doing Apple Day, it would have been perfect, but I didn't, I wore pink. And we don't look too bad because we've got mostly black and a little bit of red, a little bit of pink going on. Not too bad. But I thought, hmm, I think this would look so cute with us being in black and white. And I was right. It looks good. So not only will that give me a spot to check off on the challenge, but I will include two photos of myself. And we'll see how the detail photos go on and everything else, but I think we'll get started. Now, I had an idea for today. I put my, you can see the boom, you can see that black, let's see where it is, right there. That black kind of bag and the big rod is actually a huge boom that I have in here. And so I put my camera up top and I'm gonna see if I can film this and I'll do like maybe a replay, like a little short condensed, like make the layout. Uh, video after. We'll see if that works. I'm going to turn that on right now. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, camera, video, and film the table, not the, the ceiling. Now, I have totally forgot to do that before, and I've actually filmed a whole video of my ceiling, and I'm like, not so good. Um, but today we'll do it like this. Okay, so out of all of these papers, I've actually pulled out two packs of former kits from the wild hair. And I thought I might need these for um, some of the little bits that are included and some of the embellishments especially, they're super sweet. So I'll use some of that. Um, we got some great paper from the Wild Wild Whisper, and I've got some new papers from. This is from a company called. Oh, I've got Vicky Booten paper, and then I also have some paper from um, Coco Vanilla, which is out of Australia. <laughs> You're so unpredictable. I, I am a little. <laughs> so I think, oh, I love the bright colors of that Vicky Booten paper, but maybe I can use this nice soft background. Oh, I like that side too. What do you do when you love both sides of paper? Oh, did, guys, does this look like apple blossoms? Would you say that looks like apple blossoms to you? Yay, nay, something like that. I think that looks like apple blossoms. It has just a, like a little hint of color on it, but I kind of like it. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna start with this paper, I think. 
because it looks like apple blossoms. It's all sketchy. Janet says yes. Not sure what apple blossoms look like, but they're super pretty. <laughs> yeah. So this one here, I think it looks like apple blossoms. I think they kind of do look like that, right? And we're doing stuff with apples. So that might make a really nice like background. It feels like a nice neutral to build on top of. So we're going to go with that. So we're starting with some Australian paper from Coco Vanilla. This is from their More Than Words collection and it is called Sketchbook. Yeah, perfect. And so I have this four by six photo of myself that is vertical while I'm peeling. I actually handed my photo to, or my, my phone to my husband and said, I need pictures of us doing stuff together. And we're too busy visiting to take pictures. So you have to do pictures for me. So all of these pictures are courtesy of my husband <laughs> and he did a very good job for me. Um, cut these up. So I got a new printer and I like it. The colors I think could be a little bit better, but honestly, they're, they're really close. I got them to the point where it was close, but I have to tell you the first pictures that I printed off of it were so terrible. I was like, Oh no, what, what's wrong with this printer? And of course it was just the settings weren't set to like, you know, print a proper photo with like, high quality, like it printed super fast and was really, really bad. But I, I, my first impression was this printer is horrible. <laughs> um, Scottish Diane says, first up for me, I'll try this self-adhesive in bellies. Woo! That's awesome. I, I have a few, but I have uh, some other things that I don't know. Okay, this may be too many photos for this, but we'll see, we'll see what I can do. If I have to, I could always print some of these like embellishment shots even smaller, right? That would maybe work if I did like the apples and the desserts even smaller. I could do some slightly smaller pictures. You know, there's nothing that says that I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> um, okay. So let's see what we can fit in here. Too many photos and they're too big. That's what I'm seeing right now. So while we're here, I'm gonna like literally just pull those pictures back up and print them. And with my new printer, that's going to make it easy, right? Because my old one was a little temperamental. So I've got them starred. I have this photo here, this one with my friends, this one with uh, the apples, and this one with the desserts. I'll print them and I can custom make the size. So do you guys want to see kind of how, what I'm doing here? So I've selected my photos right now. It's trying to put two onto a four by six, but this gives me an option to do custom sizes and then I can add my sizes that I want. So I'm going to make them like three. Let's see. What's that? Two by three. So my printer won't do exactly a two by three. It will do a 1.9 or something like that. Here, let me see. Maybe a 2.9. And it'll just magically put them all onto the same page when I get the dimensions to a size that works for them. Um, there we go. So, and I can probably make that just a little bit wider there. So now I can get four of them onto a sheet and I think that'll be a nicer size while still not being too small to kind of see what we've got going on here. The apples look good, the girls fit. They're the kind of a tight fit, but I think that that's gonna be okay. So print that. And I'll confess, I am not the first person 
I'm not the, the kind of person that does a lot of photo editing. So, you know, I kind of try to just work with what I've got. And if I've got pictures like this, I don't know, like a couple of those might end up into my pocket pages or something. Um, question, do you ever do double page layouts? I used to do them all the time. I'm not opposed to doing them now. I just don't seem to do them very often. I seem to fit like one story onto a page. That being said, I do do monthly pocket page spreads and those ones I always do double and sometimes I add extra pages kind of in between. So did I miss what your new picture? Yeah, I totally didn't tell you, Tina. Sorry. Um, it is an Epson ET2750. Now ET means eco tank. Now this thing is not designed as a photo printer, but it is an Epson and it is... Um, and actually it has a higher resolution than my previous Canon printer had. So I'm like, well, you know, it's probably going to be fine. Um, what software are you using to size? I'm literally using the photos program on my Mac computer. That's all I'm using because if I had to learn more software and more, more programs, I would be like, Phew, like overwhelmed. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. I do, um, a little bit of editing. Most of my photos are taken on my phone. And if I decide that photos need to be edited, I usually do them in PicTapGo. I finally figured out how a couple of filters that I like on PicTapGo. And then I do um, any editing on there. And then those pictures magically show up in my photos program because that talks to each other and then I print them from there. I don't choose to print from my phone because it doesn't give me options for the sizing in the same way. Um, all right, Vicki says, are you happy with the quality of your prints? Now I am. I had to get into the special printer settings and once I've played around and I will tell you, I played for a while. Let me just get to this. So the first pictures that printed, I printed this one. It was of our scrap happy thing. Now, I don't know if you can see, this quality is crappy. It's seriously bad. But I played and I played and I played with the color and the quality until I got to a point where the pictures were looking more real. I think the purple could still be more vibrant. So I may sit down and play again, or I may just say like, I'm good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the one thing I love about this printer, it is an eco tank. So it has giant tanks of ink. You literally dump the ink into these giant tanks and the refills on the tanks are like $15 or $20 for the ink. And you only have to replace them like once in a gazillion years. Like I was spending $72 to go but put ink in my old printer. So I had spent easily $1,000 on that printer. It was $150 for the printer and $72 every time I needed ink. And I needed ink, I needed ink, I needed ink, I needed ink. So this one here um, is gonna save me a fortune on the ink. It was a $300 printer, but I have to say like, just for the ink loan, the quality of the pictures is pretty good. I'm using Epson paper. It seems to be pretty good. Um, Janet said, with my Epsons, with the colors are off, I needed my head cleaned. Down full of Epson, but I love my Epson. So I've done the, the printing uh, or the head cleaning and that did help, um, but not as much as I think it, as it could have. So I'll put that up out of the way. I have this new picture now printed and I will cut this up into the little pieces so. pretty happy and it's just um being able to print on demand at home um is amazing having uh where i live the only photo option would be to like um do walmart i have to say our walmart in the past has had not the best quality of prints <laughs> um it got to the point where i'm like why am i paying for this. This is horrible. And um, yeah, I started just doing my pictures um, at home on a printer and they were so much better. The, the Canon that I had 
was not as difficult to set up because I didn't have to go into the special settings as much. The colors were more true, but the pictures were darker. So these ones are actually brighter. So, you know, I'm getting a little bit of trade off. I'm used to seeing them one way and I'm seeing something that is a little bit different. So, um, so far, I'm pretty happy, I have to say. And I can visually look right at the tanks on the front of this printer and they're like full of ink and that's exciting because that's gonna print a gazillion pictures. <laughs> so here we go, we've got little pictures, little details, and I think this is excellent. I can put these on here, I'll make like a little collage of details on here and something like this, I think. We'll see. Little collage. Maybe this one will come down here. There, that's kind of fun, right? To make like a little grid. Um, so now that I have that, that looks pretty good. Um, use at least two photos of you. So that one's gonna be checked off. We need some different products from different collections. Cool. Um, in here from the same collection, there are some die cut things, but that doesn't help us with new collections. So let's see what we can find for new stuff. Um, in one of my previous wild hair kits, I had these jelly bean soup uh, words. There is a happy, there is a together, there is a sweet, uh, smile, hugs, there's some good words on here. So I can definitely see myself using these words. Um, there's some cute little cork trees, but I don't know if trees really fit. Um, ooh, from the Twilight One Canoe, one two, canoe 2, this was also from one of my wild hair kits. This is great because I've like pulled out some wild hair kits. I've got some other stuff added. Um, let's see, Fancy Scrapper says, I have a Canon selfie. I use my Project Life app to make 2 by 3 photos on 4 by 6 papers. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of people that are doing that. Um, Vicky has an Epson PM400, but I want to do larger photo printing. Oh, yeah. Let your light shine bright. Never stop looking up. Tag along. Run wild. Grateful. Love. Okay, so I might use some of these little gold, and they're so shiny. I think because these are like rub-ons, that would count as the sticky things, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so far these are both self-adhesive, so maybe I will find a way to use that thing. We'll see. Um, there is a cute little freckled fawn puffy cameras, kind of like these, so I'm going to bring these out here. Uh, this would not be self-adhesive, but there's some die cuts from that Twilight collection. Those might be good. Ooh, I do have from some of my previous one or wild hair kits. Um, you can see the little logos on there. They're so cute, the little bunny. Um, I've got some little bits of baker's twine. So there's kind of a pink one here, and then there is a blue one. And honestly, those two would look super cute on here. Because as funny as it was, like now that I see it with pink, it's super good. So, yeah. um, there, oh, let's have a look in here. This is another one, like some leftovers from my kit. I got some washi tape in here. Oh, some sparkly things. There's some more, ooh, some more blue, different blue. Um, I've got some sequins. And some of these. So I think I've got enough things to really get playful here. Oh my goodness. That's funny. I've, I must have had these letters twice. But it's funny because I always buy two packs <laughs> when I have them. So these are those sparkly letters. Like literally, I have two packs of this one that I just had bought on the weekend because, yeah. So rub-ons totally count. Yay! <laughs> 
I love my Canon selfies, says Hannah. I bought a Canon selfie after being around some people that were using Canon selfie. Hey, Scrap Happy Sisters. And once I saw how much their Canon selfie rocked, that was like, I was totally convinced that that was my thing and I was getting them. So I did that and have not looked back. So I need something with a little bit of more red. I need some more red to stick on here. Um, does this collection have red? I see lots of hot pink, but I'm not seeing a lot of red. This is some of the field notes paper that I picked up and then some of this more than words. So I didn't see a lot of red there. Where can I find some red? That's funny because I don't normally scrap looking for colors. That's not my go-to way of scrapbooking. I need to spray my tractor pot this whole time because I don't think those are going to work. And there's no red in here. I pulled out stuff and I have no red, guys. We're doing pages about apples. <laughs> Ooh, I do have an apple stamp. Ooh, these are nice. Okay, I do have um, an apple stamp. That is possibly right here on my desk still. <laughs> okay, I'm totally going to use this. I'm going to create something that's red. I will pull out my ink that is... I'm gonna set that. I have a basket full of inks. Okay, so this is a close to my heart set that I got. It has apples, it has a basket full of apples, it has an apple pie, it has everything. So I need to make an embellishment so I can do that. I'm going to use some of this baker's twine because I think that's great. I would like to use either sequins or these. I'm gonna add some of this gold. I'm gonna use this word. I don't know if this camera will make it on, but I wanna use all of these things. I don't think the washi will fit. But I'm gonna make some kind of red embellishment because I've got the red in some of the pictures and now I need a little bit of red and stuff like that. So that's gonna be fun. Um, Inks. Oh, I put them away. No wonder I couldn't find them. <laughs> okay. Get full of those. I got two. Candied apple. There we go. That will be red. So we need some paper to ink on. I'm going to grab a piece of white cardstock. A little bit here and I'm gonna stamp some of these on here let's see black I think I'll just use a black ink and I gotta get my cleaner wet so chat amongst yourselves for half a second you guys Okay. <laughs> Janet says, what is everyone working on? Hand stitching on a page. Ooh, that's fancy. Um, Julie says, I should be scrapping, but I'm laying on the couch watching this terrible Packer game. Well, you know, doing a little scrappy watching while you're watching some sports. <laughs> Uh, Scottish Diane says, I'm using 2012 My Mind's Eye. Does that count as not American Crafts? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make a basket of apples. So tip, if you are stamping, especially with acrylic stamps, um, try to put like a piece of foam or something underneath what you're stamping and you will get a much nicer impression. 
Oh, that looks lovely. That is super cute. Clean that off on my little stamp pad there and pop that back. Now there's some apples. So I'm going to stamp out a few of those and I might, might do some fussy cutting. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> so let's stamp out a few apples here and maybe the pie. There we go. It's good. Do I need anything else? Apples. Yeah, I think that's good. So I've got those stamped and I did have a case man. those away <laughs> away that was that was good as I chucked them over there uh Lauren says I'm fussy cutting some floral paper for future use that's very good and Nancy Travers says I'm going back and forth between watching this and cleaning up my space that's pretty good that's really good like I need a, I need some some of that going on around here <laughs> mm. Joyce is working on photos of zip lining in the rainforest of Costa Rica. Well, I, uh, I don't have that to work on, but I sure wish I did. Uh, okay. So I'm going to color with my distress oxide and I'm going to use candied apple and frayed burlap to color some of this stuff. And Let's see here. So to color with my inks, I usually just smoosh a little bit of that color onto my craft mat. And then I, uh, I usually have a little jar for my paint water. And just get it a little bit wet there. And that should be good for coloring. Let me just check. Yeah. So I'm not going to be like crazy um, worried about the lines. I'm, I am going to cut these out. And these are a little bit soft. I'm like noticing that this red is not as red as I expected it to be. So I have another red that is a fired brick. Pull some of that and see if it makes my apples a little more ready red. It's a little better. I don't know. I think this could definitely be a brighter red. I thought this was a brighter red. Maybe if I had it directly on. Let me try it directly on this paper. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, it's like totally brighter red. Shoot. Okay, let's color some of these apples. This is not the best paintbrush for this. I should have looked for maybe another one, but this is uh, kind of just make do with the stuff that I can reach. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Um, ooh. Jacqueline says she's doing her sample page for load, so she's not sharing it today. Yay, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay, I think to make these a little brighter, I think I have, I'm gonna use some of this picked raspberry, which is pink, but I think, um, I think we need a little bit of brightness to this. Yeah, I like that. It's like pinking them up a little, making them a little bit brighter. Okay. World's greatest uh, 
artiste, maybe not, but this should do. Cool. Um, there is a little bit of, some of these have like a little bit of like a leaf on them. So it might be nice to uh, bring a little bit of that leaf, uh, a little bit of green for the leaf, and that will just brighten up the last little bit that I have here. Apples for sale. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So color some of those, and I think this color should work just fine for my pie. Um, it's okay if I do the bottom like with a red, right, on the pie. Like it could be like one of those red pie holder things. Yeah. You're all like, totally, Alice, you got this. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Diane, she said, no, I just stepped today's date rather than the event date. Can you like cut like a little tab and then cover it with a tab? Like if it's beside your photo or under your photo, so you have like this little cute little accent tab that you now stamp on. So it looks like it's supposed to be there. That's what Julie says, cover with a label. <laughs> been there, you know, I think we've all been there and done that one. Like, whoops. <laughs> What was that? Okay. Okay, let's see here. Okay, can I get this like any brighter? Come on. Maybe if I use some that's direct and not so wetted down here, can add a little bit of highlights. Oh yeah, that's good. So this one here, I'm not watering down as much and I'm just adding a little touch of this red directly from the pad. I should have left like little bits of white on them, but I always remember that after, which is why I'm not a watercolor artist in my spare time. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. Um, and I'm gonna take just a touch of green. Lucky Clover. And throw that onto the leaves. There we go. Great. So that's the little red embellishments that I needed. I'll hold those up so you can see. They turned out pretty cute, hey? Um, moving this off to the side and putting it somewhere so I can wipe it off later. And I guess I need to fussy cut these. Yay. <laughs> So I don't know how many apples I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna fussy cut those as needed because I don't wanna cu cut out ones that I'm not gonna use. <laughs> okay. Have I made custom embellishments when I've done these things before? I don't remember doing that. Maybe I should like get some stamps once in a while. That is one of the options when you order your kit from the Wild Hair is you can order stamps. I usually say no stamps because I've got like 20 million of them back here. But you know, a little bit of fresh stamps once in a while is pretty fun and cute. So maybe I should be uh, trying some new stuff. I did actually order recently from the Ink Road some stamps because we had used, okay, so here's the truth of what I did. We had used this amazing stamp that I fell in love with during a class at the Scrap Happy Family Reunion that we did in Denver. And K Christina Sorge did this super fun class where we worked with these circles. Do you girls that work there, do you remember those circles? Um, 
And I just loved the texture and the detail that we got from those stamps. So I was like, I waited a couple months and I'm like, I don't need them. We, we, no, I need them. <laughs> no, I need them. So I placed an order from, oh, the ink card. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's cut out some apples. Yes. Julie, wild hair is not in Canada. They are in the US, but they did just re reduce their shipping to Canada. Um, when I order, I order a deluxe kit because I, um, I think the kits are nice when they're big. I like getting more stuff and it's better bang for my buck when I'm going to be paying for shipping, right? So I order my own kits and pay for my own kits. And then Allison provides one for a lucky winner. But um, yeah, I think that, um, yeah, she just lowered the rate for the shipping to Canada and I think in the U.S. So yeah, all of the shipping rates did just go down, which you know, I don't know how companies can get such amazing shipping. I went and mailed something the other day and I gagged when they told me how much it costs to ship. I was like, oh, wow, I couldn't believe it. But, you know, it's, it's just what it is, I guess. Um, <laughs> Tina says, I love fussy cutting. It's relaxing at times. That's hilarious because in the video that I did with Pam Bray, she says, oh, I love fussy cutting. It's so relaxing. <laughs> and I laughed. I said, fussy cutting is the F word of the crafting world. <laughs> she's laughing. She's like, oh, no, it's wonderful. I'll get you fussy cutting, Alice. And I'm like, I don't know. But look what I'm doing. Pam Bray, I'm fussy cutting. So, you know. I do a little bit here and there. Although I have to say, I tend to be more of a, let's buy the matching dye and we'll use those instead. Although I don't know if sometimes it's not even as easy as just doing the fussy cutting yourself. Um, yeah, so I've got some apples here. Maybe I'll just cut one more for now and then I'll uh, put this layout together. So I wanted to layer a little bit, I don't know if I'm going to put some more paper on here, but I wanted to start getting some of these um, embellishments on here. And does anybody have any good play on words with apples and friendship and something about, you know, we're older than the hills. <laughs> I don't know. Like we've been friends forever. Fancy scarf is the F word of the craft world. I know. I know. That's truly what I think about um, that. So mix products from three different collections. We'll have that with this. Use five products from non-American craft designers. That well, okay. The, the one can you two is definitely um American crafts but the other ones I think if we can use those all on here are not so that will be good title 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 um oh so there was some apple punny things on here love you to the core oh Janet okay done 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 thank you <laughs> hands down you're the winner <laughs> that was not that was awesome uh janet said oh that was awesome i just mailed a box of paper scraps and it cost me 24 dollars. i know it was insane just mailing stuff yes janet we hands down that is exactly what we needed for this so i'm going to put that on here um, these are going to come up. This is going to come on here, I think. Just rearranging my little pile a little bit. Um, love you to the core. Now, I had the word love in here. There is a love in here. There's also a golden love. And then I have these pink letters. I need this love to be bigger, 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 bigger. 
oh, I could do three. And that kind of makes it bigger. Friendships are the golden apples of time. Aww. <laughs> yes. And that can pertain to the desserts too. No kidding. We made um, apple turnovers. We made apple crisp and we made a quick apple pudding. Now I have the sweetest story for you because last night we went and stopped at my son's house. He's 19 and he's a homeowner for the first time. And so all I need is another love and this will be perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Maybe there's a love in here. Oh, there's a home. There's a blast. There's a, ooh, is the love still in here? I'll totally use it if it is because it would be perfect. Tell me it's here. Tell me it's here. And then I haven't stole it yet. Oh, guys, look how perfect it is. It's so perfect. Okay. Love. Okay, I totally want this to be here, but I don't want it over top of my head. So I may have to adjust my placement of that a little. Love you to the core. This is going to come down here. And I think I'll do that with these pink ones. I kind of want softer pink ones. The white ones won't go white on white very well, but I don't think I need other papers. I really just don't. I think we're good. Oh, there is an orange U on here. Love you. And then I could do two the core down here. Now it's orange, but if I take my ink directly onto here, I think I can color it and make it look different. Okay, let's do that. Uh, did I put those colors back? Oh yeah. Look at me putting stuff away. Look how handy that is. <laughs> <laughs> then I can find them when I need them. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'll smash that on there again. I wish this was drier, but you know, you probably have another one sitting right here somewhere. Okay, so I'm taking this U and I'm making it redder because it's kind of just the wrong color. Dab it on there. Little dab, dab, dab. I could even try putting it straight on there, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, did it. Yep, there we go. That's going to look fabulous. It's going to need a second to dry. So love you. And now I can put to the core down here. And this is like one of those things, like I might not have ever used it because it might've always been the wrong color, but because these are paper, I can just color them. It's all good. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Scottish Diane says, layout done in record time. Hubby says, I'm online gaming as a crafter. Well, he's online gaming as a dwarfing thing. Sorry, that was typed extra. Okay, as a dwarf. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Julie says that the Packer game was so bad that I walked away and I'm at my craft table now. <laughs> oh, poor Packers. <laughs> um. <laughs> and that's scarves is good for you, Julie. You know, like there's nothing that says we need to watch like a catastrophe happening. Like <laughs> when it's bad, it's just bad. Okay, so we've got two different kinds of word things happening here to the core. We're gonna spell that out. I'm just gonna stick it right on. You guys are gonna be surprised with me not pulling out my ruler, right? Ooh, I could use like little tiny letters. Ah, oh, totally gonna use little tiny letters. It's gonna be great. I'll be right back. I know where they are.
Okay, so I have a stack of little tiny letters because I love these things. Um, and these ones are gold and shiny. So we're going to take these and put them on here for the to the. And that'll just bring a little bit more of that gold in here. Uh, okay. Imagine putting a few more embellishments here. So I'm gonna put this here. T. Okay. And now I'm mixing in, I'm mixing alphas. That's another tech mark on this list, on the challenge sheet, guys. We got it. We got it. That's mixing two alphas for sure. To the okay, and then core. Yeah, it goes back in. Excellent. Okay. Now these are a little more pink than I like, but I think they're going to be okay. Because I like the way they have the black on them. And they're kind of like the white parts on them are a little bit like uh, stressed a little bit. Oh gosh, Janet, that is just a good title. What can I say? Crowdsourcing, guys. Crowdsourcing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alice. Janet says to use an apple for the O and core. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I, I will follow directions. I... <laughs> I'll be your scrapbooking marionette. <laughs> be your scrapbooking marionette. That's perfect. Okay, and then it needs a little bit of foam tape. That's definitely gonna happen with foam tape. There. <laughs> See, I'm glad you're getting my attention. Thanks, Hannah. Cause you know, things go by fast and then I miss out good stuff. I try to read as many of the comments to keep it all going. Okay, so we've got little apples. I've got my little pie here. I need to stick some pictures down is what I'm doing. They're kind of wiggling around on me and I'm gonna get, they're gonna get away on me. So this, let's start here. Oh my gosh. I love how this has come together. Guys, this challenge, I think, just broke me out of the box. Have, you guys haven't seen me do a uh, multi-photo layout when we do our live things. I think I'm always a little bit like intimidated. Just a little. Okay, let me get it perfect, there we go. Get that straight. This one's gonna come up here. They're all gonna lay out there. Oh yeah. One. Then I got like a little area for embellishments in here. This is coming up right to there. Awesome. There. <laughs> Janet says, I think I'm more interested in your page than in mine. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like a cooperative here. We're, we're running a scrapper cooperative today. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So this was the apple dessert here. Like it's called a quick apple pudding. And this one is the apple crisp. And then we did these little apple turnovers where you take those Pillsbury Philo puff stuff or whatever. And they would normally just make like a little crescent roll or something, but we turned those into um, little stuffed um, apple things, apple desserts. Oh my gosh. So good. 
and so easy like that was like super easy that was just apple prep <laughs> so they uh they know me so they didn't let me be the char in charge of the kitchen stuff they just let me be a helper so i peeled apples that was what i did pretty much all day for like four or five hours <laughs> i think i peeled apples <laughs> <laughs> but and honestly like you could have made these desserts without even peeling the apples because they were like fresh ones off of a tree just fairly little small ones but yeah so good <laughs> you gotta laugh at my friend's shirt holy cow she is like eight months pregnant right there too <laughs> So. when she said guys can you come to my house and we'll do it at my place we're all like sure <laughs> if you if you want us all there then then we'll happily go to you <laughs> oh this is really cute actually i love how lining this picture up right over here means that it's pretty much the way the table was set out that's kind of cute um okay so love what would you do here with this tail on the l i don't really want it over my head here let me move these off this side i'm gonna hold it up so you can see what i mean so i'm gonna put this little apple thing here i'm gonna have love oh maybe it's like it just needs to be off to the side a little bit that's okay okay i've solved it it's all good <laughs> will it slip under the photo yeah it would have slipped under but i think as long as i have it beside my head it's okay like that. Should I pop it up? Yay. I think I'll pop it up. If in doubt, pop it up, right? That's like kind of how it works. <laughs> like, should I? If you have to ask, the answer is probably yes. Um, yeah, so while I was in Calgary, I went to a brand new scrapbooking store that has just opened recently, and I did a tour through there. It's called the Paper and Ink Boutique. I met Julia from that store and had a good look around there. Super nice. She's got a beautiful workstation, so I'm super jealous, Calgary people, of... Uh, the fabulous store that you get to shop at. Not super jealous. Well, I'm super jealous because I don't live close to a scrapbook store anymore. Like Edmonton are my local scrapbook stores and they're two hours away. But um, I think Calgary now has four stores. I was able to do um, tours at two of them while I was there. And one of them was set up at the carnival and I did a tour with them through their booth at the carnival and that was scrap and dippity and they actually have a mobile van kind of truck like a truck that um it's like a box truck or cube truck or whatever you call it and they actually will visit different locations and take a store to you so that was pretty cool so i got a little peek into the truck and saw some of that actually that's where i saw marge again kind of like a food truck that's right hannah but um yeah you get to like go and have a look they have like a little tent that they set up beside the truck and can set up some extra things in there and yeah it was it was pretty cool jacqueline says there's a new store in saskatoon saskatchewan but i haven't seen it yet uh okay apple pie what did i do with my apple pie here we go it's here okay so this gonna go on here and I gotta get my U so let's take this U off of here of course the middle of the O is trying to be difficult um, love you to the core oh, this is so good um some little apples that'll add last i think kind of like little bits of gem and 
prettiness. Did I only cut four? I thought I cut five. I've lost one already. Uh, oh, I wanted some of this stuff on here. Am I going to get it on here? I don't know how I'm going to add it now. Maybe I don't get that on there. Ugh. I can do some of these. And I've got two little spots of gold. Mm. We've got light, bu lightning bugs. There's some little flower rose things. There's the other ones. There's another sheet. Ooh, okay. This has a little strip of little X's. So I'm gonna take those little X's, they're little, little X rub-ons, and I'm gonna line those underneath this photo right here. Just add another little, maybe a few up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'll add a few up there. Just to have another little area with a little bit of shine. Okay, rub on. Ah. I like it when I put my things away. I should do that. <laughs> um, take your pen and draw stitching around the side, says Hannah. Oh, I could do that. And you know me. Drawing stitching, yes. Doing stitching, ew. <laughs> oh, those went on really nice. Those were good rub ons. And I'll put a few right here. Okay. So those are great. Okay. And Ooh, you know, I could do some stitching along just like a little part, maybe like underneath the word core, some little stitches. What do you think about that? I have to find an actual needle thing to do that, but I think it would be really cute. Um, yeah, I think I'll give that a try. I don't know if I'll be able to do all of that on camera because, you know, my stitching skills are, we've looked at that before. Alice, we got a needle at reunion. I think that one would be too small, honestly, because I don't think I can get my baker's thread through it. But, you know, I want to put one of these little cameras on here. They're so cute. Oh, I want to put the little sugar on. I had like a little, oh, I know what I need. I need a doily. Oh, I need a doily, right? Baking, that totally makes sense with a doily. You know, cause you put your food out and it's all cute and stuff. So if I put a doily underneath here, I'm gonna not try to lift everything up. So I'm just gonna cut my doily a bit. And then I'll just have to lift the edges of the photos to stick that underneath. And then this will go underneath there. I'm so glad I use my adhesive that I do. Like once you stick it for a while, it stuck, sticks good, but at first it's not super permanent. Yay, okay, that's adorable. Got a little bit doily there. Okay, I don't think I want that camera there anymore. Maybe. Too dark, this one maybe. Spotted one. 
too late. It's too late on weight. Here this one. This one, yeah, that one's cute. A layer that and that. This needs a pop dot. Where's that foam tape? Oh, okay, this is feeling like it's coming together. I'm feeling close to done. We don't know about that stitching thing. I, I like the idea, but oh, it's the technicality of it. Let's see, Nikki says, I enjoyed watching Alice while trying to finish my lay layout for load. Do tomorrow, but have to walk my puppy before it starts raining. Oh yes, do that. I totally understand the whole weather thing. We've been getting snow. More snow. Hooray for snow. <laughs> yeah, not hooray for snow. Super choked that we're getting snow already. <laughs> oh, I didn't lose one of my apples. I put it in the core. <laughs> um, oh, I think I'll put one down low. So, here we go. There we go. A couple layers of apples right there. And I think I need a couple up at the top. Mm. And let's put this one down low so that I've got different layers in there. There. That's pretty cute little bit of smooshing. So what have I used? That's all American crafts. This is not, this is not, I didn't use five things that are not. Okay. So I used a doily. I used some um, close to my heart. This is freckled fawn. Um, do these letters count? And those letters, if they do, then I used at least five. <laughs> so we'll totally count it. Plus the paper is not. So, you know, I think that totally is good. Um, let's hold it up. Does it pass the test? Yes, it looks pretty good. It could use a little bit of stitching on it. It would be adorably cute. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do that in the, um, when I add the journaling. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if it makes it, but let's hold it up. So here we are. Here is the layout. I use the paper from Cocoa Vanilla. I've got my title love you to the core. Can you see the U enough on there? I don't know. Maybe I need to have a little bit of white or something underneath that or something to make it stick out a little bit. And I've got a little bit of gold embellishment. I've got my little bushel of apples up here. And then I've got my little pie down here with a little camera. I think it's good. I might, uh, yeah, you know, I think I love it. So pretty happy. Uh, maybe put you on the black and white photo. Yeah, let's see if it'll move. I don't know if it's moving. It might be staying on here. It's trying to stay. I could definitely put something like behind it, sneak it up. It'll have to cover part of that photo because uh, it's uh, not coming off there nicely. Oh, and I think I need a couple of little thingy things. So I'm going to use these like pale blush color ones because it kind of adds a little bit of that pink into here. And the apples are a little bit pinky. So those are cute. There. Okay, added just a couple more little bits right there. There, I think it's really good. I may do something about the U when I do the journaling, and I may try to add some of this um, little bit of the pink baker's twine. I think that would be extra cute on there. But for right now, this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> So that's good. Uh, visual triangle, more like a diagonal. I've got like the two big clusters here, but it brings your eye like through everything. But 
I know because I try. I, I always try to have my visual triangle. I am a fan, but uh, you know, sometimes a diagonal layout is good too. Okay, so I'll put that up there. And now it is time for the draw. Dun, 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 dun. So let's have a look here. We have 19 people in the house. One of those people is me. So we need to pull up a random number generator. And oh, I can probably hit stop on that. Um, random number generator. Okay, so we have 18 other than me and I'm hitting generate, it says nine. So let me count down the list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Judy W. Judy W, you are our grand winner of our prize today. Yay! Congratulations, Judy. Um, I need you to send me an email to alice at aliceatbowl.com. Uh, so I'll write that in here, alice at alicebowl.com. And I will send your information on to Allison so that you can fill out your own style profile and get your free kit from the Wild Hair Kits. Congratulations, Judy. Has she commented in here just to make sure sees that she's seen this? That would be really good. Um, okay, so let's have a look here. Mm. Okay, so congratulations, Judy. Um, you are our grand winner for today. So send me the email. She hasn't commented yet. Okay, well, we'll, we'll put a reminder in here. She's still on here. So, Judy. Um, I try to write that down so that I can remember. Judy. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit and... I'm going to uh, start on my next page. Oh, Janet says that my apples made a visual triangle. Oh, yes, they did. I've got the apple down in the core as well. Kind of forgot about that one. So. Yeah. Okay, so pictures, pictures, pictures. I got me lots of pictures that I can potentially put into my... Uh, po pocket page. Now, last month, I didn't actually work on stuff from last month. I didn't work on August pictures, I don't think. I think I worked on a special event. So I don't have actual pages in for August, which leaves me in the position to start kind of fresh for September. And when I fill in August, I'll use the back of that. So <laughs> I'm kind of in the opposite position. Usually I'm working on the back of one page and starting a new fresh page, but I can just start two fresh pages today. So I, oh, I should check in with my bingo sheet here. I have, did I use five products from non-American crafts? Yes, I did because I used the paper, I used the doily, I used the pie stamps, I've got the camera on there, I the title stuff, like the to the is definitely not American crafts and the embellishments. So yes, use one of the following prompts. I wonder, I believe, I can't imagine, and I love. Well, I uh, haven't done that yet, but I could use one of those in my journaling. So that's still a possibility. Um, mixed products from three different collections. They're definitely mixed. Create a tile by combining more than two different sets of alphas. Definitely done. Include at least two photos of you on a layout. Yes, use at least three different sparkly embellishments. Didn't do that yet. Um, use a black and white photo on a page. Yes, make journaling or pocket cards with leftover papers. No, so 
I have got one, two, three, four, five checklists off the list. Yay. <laughs> Judy says, thank you. I'm here. I just couldn't find the chat. Thanks. So Judy, email me alice at alicebowl.com. If you need me to put that back into the chat, um, I can do that for you. But that is my email address. So uh, there we go. I didn't know how you are beat. That was a great job, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, it, that worked out good. Okay, so this all vertical or what? So I've got some pictures that I printed off from our last month. Now, my general rule of thumb is to do a vertical four by six page and a horizontal four by six page. Judy says she has my email. It's all good. Okay, so big things that happened in September. Oh my gosh, it was a big month. Um, my youngest son went off to university. My oldest son went off to college for his first year. And I didn't, oh, I forgot to print that picture, didn't I? I went to the Great Canadian Scrapbook Carnival in Edmonton and then Calgary. I joined a design team for the Urban Scrapbook Store out of Edmonton. I got to go for a flight with my husband, so I've got pictures from that pictures from moving my son and a couple of these I reprinted. So these ones I printed again in smaller sizes. So I think that's what I'm going to need. Um, I forgot the Nate picture of Joe wearing his little Nate shirt. That would have been good. So maybe I'll have to leave a spot for that one. Okay. So here I have, I do have a horizontal and another horizontal. And then I have a whole whack of photos that would best be made vertical. So I will do a four by six, all horizontal. Okay. okay, so I'm putting an all horizontal page with and all vertical page. And honestly, um, having done this for a while, I have no problem putting like two three by fours together in one four by six pocket. But sometimes when the pockets are like the smaller windows, um, then that's more of a problem. So, I might be leaning towards mostly going to using these two formats almost exclusively. Maybe, not quite. <laughs> Hi, Heather. You just coming in? Welcome. I just made a layout. It's fabulous, if I say so myself. I had help. <laughs> and now we're moving on to a pocket page. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I think this will work. So with my son going off to university, because I have some pictures that's horizontal and some that are vertical, well, these ones are cut, but I think they'll fit with the vertical. Those kind of tell part of the story. Um, you could kind of put those together. That's kind of a big thing. Um, Pictures from the craft. I think I should reprint this one smaller. That one would be better smaller. This, oh my gosh, they printed the picture for me at the thing, my husband and I, at the Canadian thing. Uh, Janice says she's still stitching. <laughs> Late lunch. When did you get the couch? The couch has been here like forever. You just can't see it because there's like usually a big mess <laughs> in the way. <laughs> But yeah, no, the couch has been here forever. Okay, so this one I think would be printed better small. This one here is small, but I need the picture of my son with his neat. So let's grab a sticky note and make notes about what I need. So my urban scrapbook photo, I need it as a three by four. I need the photo of Joe at eight as a four by six maybe or yeah cool so this is good and 
print those again. So my goal with this was to use, okay, what was the, the thing? Use only six by six or six by eight sheets on one layout. So I think I can kind of use that kind of to cheat on a pocket page. That's not cheating, right? That's totally fair. Um, and I have this great paper that is kind of rustic, rusty metal, um, through the lens metal. So let's just, I'll show you some of the stuff that's in here. It's like very rustic-y and stuff, but I think that's kind of fun for fall, like some of the fall colors, like even the rusty tones are kind of good for fall, right? So I think that will be good. And then I'll leave areas that I can, these don't really provide a lot of space for journaling per se, but I'll have to have a little bit of space for my journaling. Gosh, these are really fun. Oh, there's even some license plate paper in there. <laughs> So I have no problem with cutting some of these up to make some of my extra little windows that I need here. Mm, that's so cool. Oh, and if I put my son on this one, he'll like that because that's his favorite color. So if I pick that kind of as the tying together theme, I think we've got enough of those. So I do have some flare buttons and they have like books on them and some pencils. So I think that might be good for like this whole back to school thing that we've got going on here. Um, let's go in here and look at which picture was I going to do? This one here. Um, There, this is the picture of Joe and not, I can cut this one apart and make it, maybe make it different because I need another four by six spot. Um, there, so that's so easy. Uh, Hannah said, oh, Heather was saying hi to Hannah. So this is fun paper. Do you guys use rustic kind of paper looking like that? Like it's totally, you guys have seen pink, sparkle, bling, that's kind of my thing, but like there's this part of me that really loves this rungy, mucky kind of stuff, right? Like that really distressed look. I kind of also love that. So it's, uh, it feels like a little bit of, what dichotomy or like the split personality or something when I pull out stuff like that to work on. Um, I went to the scrap yard. So not an actual scrap yard, but a scrapbook store in Calgary called the scrap yard. And at the scrap yard, they tend to have things that are more rustic. -y. Even the decorations in the store are kind of rustic and um they like they have lots of vintage things they've got this like old ringer washer washing machine kind of thing in there and i think there is like an old um like a candy machine like the little turners and oh my gosh it was just really fun okay I've got a picture of my son playing piano at our house and he loves to sit down. He hated piano lessons back in the day. And now that he is like, you know, doing things on his own, he's like always like sitting down at the piano all the time. He learns from YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, didn't know that was a thing, but he's pretty good. So all depends on what you're interested in, right? 
Okay, so that's gonna be for here, I think. Here's the picture of him. So I have to say, he sent me this picture. He's wearing his Nate shirt that he got for himself in his favorite color. And he took a picture with the Nate building in the background. I'm like, you are a scrapbooker, son. I love you. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, I knew you'd like that, mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, that was awesome. So very, very good. Good kid. My other son, on the other hand, like he did send me like two pictures in that first couple days. And then after that, it was like radio silence. Didn't hear anything from him. I'm like, hello, are you still alive? <laughs> but yeah, all good. Okay. Yeah. I'll put this into here. So this picture is printed on, what did they have? Must have been a picture made or something. Um, but it has like the little snap off tabs. But I think when you snap off the tabs, it's not, oh no, this one is actually six inches when you snap the tabs off. So with the Canon selfie, it's not. Ah, uh, but this one looks like it will be. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, good thing to know. So what did they use? Oh, this paper says Sony. So maybe it was some kind of Sony printer. Who knows what kind of printer that would be? It was like a little personal, tiny printer. Anybody have any idea? One with snap off tabs, just like a, like a, a Sony one that does that. <laughs> apparently I have no idea. Um, <laughs> Others says, Hey, mine live in the same house as me. And I often don't hear from them for days. <laughs> I know it's crazy. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, does anybody have anything you'd like to show and tell before we forget? I'm super bad for remembering. So if you want to do show and tell, either go ahead and like, you know, if you're doing a screen share, go ahead and screen share or go ahead and tell me and, oh, are you doing stuff here, Fancy Scrapper? Are you showing your desk? Oh, she's showing something here. Let me uh, spotlight and see if we can get the audio working here. Do you have audio? Oh, look at that. Did you like braid that paper, like weave that paper? That's cool. I can't hear you. I don't know what's happened here. Oh, that is so cool. And it's like on the front of an album. It's like the front of a book, front of a journal. Very cool. Okay. So put me back. Um, let's see if I can. No, it says there's no microphone. So that doesn't work, I guess. Can I hear you? Nope. Um, let's see. Diane, were you trying to share something? Our Scottish Diane? I'd seen the camera for a second. Yes. <laughs> She's waving. So it's all good. If you want to, if you want to share, go ahead and make it happen. It's that's what we're here for. Ah, she's holding stuff up. Okay, I'm gonna see. Can I hear you there, Diane? Let's try. Ah, I can hear. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is center parts. So I've got my non-American crafts. I've got all sticky embellishments. I've got my love, love, love of my own kids and my nephew, my niece. Oh. You're and rocking I, our challenge. <laughs> and I have expertly or not so expertly covered up my poor dating with a giant arrow sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Arrows are perfect. I love it. I love it. Thank oh my gosh, you. that looks like tons of fun. Oh look, people rocking this this challenge. This is this is good, guys. You're rocking the challenge. Uh where we got here. Julie, were you trying to share something? 
No, she's just smile. Your daughter? <laughs> Here, we'll pop her up for a second. So she's like on the big screen. Everybody says, everybody says, hey, 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 daughter. <laughs> look at these. Look at these. <laughs> Hello. Okay. And Katrina, are you looking for something to share? Oh, I'm seeing people checking this out. Here we go. Um, she's, she's walking. I think she's going to show us something. So we'll, we'll catch up with Katrina in a second here. So, yeah, I love this. <laughs> love this smile. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, I just love this texture. Let me put that in there. Did you just all keep uh, oh, playing? Because <laughs> people are showing their um, faces now. Um, and so she's looking around and like pulling up people's videos. To, yeah. So everybody can like see the pages. And she pulled up Delaney. <laughs> she pulled out fast. And there we go. I was, we could hear you still. <laughs> so that was good. No, it's all good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Okay, so fancy scrapper. Can I get the audio to work? That's always the best. I tried to change settings. Am I on? Yeah, <laughs> yay. Yay, it works. Okay, let me put you up on the big screen. That's okay. it's big this for everyone. Is, this is a notebook I made for my husband. Um, he's got, it's, like, it's for a dream journal. Actually, it's for his, uh, it says, uh, daily focus guide. It's backwards. <sighs> It's not. No, backwards. we see it's it backwards. good. <laughs> it's back to the camera. But he wanted um, tabs. And so the dividers have tabs and little stamps. And then here's where he's going to write his daily focus. It's awfully big, sorry. And um, you can't get this part anymore. This is a Tim Holtz <sighs> uh, binder clip. Yeah. Yeah. that you can use to make projects. So I used, the hard part of the book is um, like a couple of cereal boxes glued together to make it strong. Cool. So. Getting ooh, creative okay. when you can't get the supplies that you need. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So anyway, and this is, a, this was a chipboard shape that I painted and then did a stamp in script and then embossed so it's shiny. Cool. Yeah, I can yep. see like the glossiness of the and embossing. Then is, and then this is an embossed stamps too. He's like, I want wings, I want a crown, I love Florida de Lis. He was just going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he had like a whole list of things that he wanted on it. That's totally awesome. Did. Totally good. So yeah, he's excited about it. He's like, oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to write in it. So. <laughs> Oh, yay. What a like, nice you got to tell me what's a good pen to use. <laughs> so yeah. that's it. For now. Awesome. Oh, and that, that other notebook was, it's washi tape. Okay, it's washi. And did you, like, layer it? It's, like, all weaved together with washi tape? Yeah. yeah. Oh, start, that would have been crazy. Started up in one corner and then just kind of added one and then the next one and, you know. Wow. So, so you could totally make a variety of, it's just a, it's just a composition notebook, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, um, so it's just, you know, it's written in and, oh, I painted the inside. <laughs> Cause I've done that with paper before, but with washi tape, that's like a whole like extra level of, of commitment yeah. to try to get those layers. Yes. <laughs> weaved together. It's, it's already sticky. So it's easy to just, you know, you just kind of well, make it sort of long enough. And then I think I just wrapped it around to the inside. Oh, yeah, I did. You can see. Uh, that's why I painted over it. And then just cover the inside. Cool. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for showing oh, us. Another thing you can do with washi, my, my coffee cup. Your cup. <laughs> <laughs> I go a little washi crazy. We all have um, some washi. You got to do something with it, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that's it. So anyway, thanks for letting me share. So we've got people saying, I got to try that and you're rocking yeah. it. Oh my Yay. gosh, this is great. And so Christina or Katrina, are you ready? You had something to share, right? Oh, 
I think I did the wrong one. Wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> no, this is good. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Um, so I've been working on a little traveler's notebook that I create that I made um, with some very, some of these are really old supplies. I've got a doily and I just printed that on, on the um, laser printer. So, but it's got paint and washi tape and little stickers. So this is a present for my friend who went to Georgia, the country, not the state. <laughs> yeah. And um, so just, I wanted her to be able to just put her pictures and her memorabilia and stuff just in there. So yeah. I made some paper clips, like that's a paper clip on a strip, an altered paper clip and the envelope in the middle hides the stitching with how I stowed it together. Cool. So you don't have a bunch of stuff. So yeah. Cool. That turned out so nice. Oh, that's my stamping and <laughs> fancy scrapper says she's in the state of Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not so far <laughs> as the one by Russia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing. This has been so good. Um, here we go. Put this up. And thank you to everybody that did a little show and tell. And hi again to Julie's daughter. I don't, I don't know if she's there anymore, but we're, we're saying hi anyways. And this is so good. So I'm going to keep plugging away at my pocket page. I am going to include at least three different kinds of sparkly embellishments on it because I think the rustic and the sparkly are going to go so good. And like, can you imagine putting these sparkle letters on this kind of paper? Oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. So that's totally what's going to happen with that. I'll get my stories told and I will have these shared on the replay page when I put that up on my Scrapbook Wonderland site. Um, Janet says it, that was so great. Katrina, she said, it's like, we're all at a crop together. I know. And that's why we, the show and tell, like, I seriously love to see what everybody else is working on in the project. So it's super fun, but yeah, I'm going to finish up this page. I'm going to add my journaling to the other page and then I will get those posted. I'll put the replay of this video up on YouTube. If there's something you need to look at. Hopefully this other video will actually work and I'll be able to link this video when I get the, you know, like the, the process video for the layout put together. And hopefully I got it all on camera. I wasn't really paying attention to that because there was too many other things happening, but we'll see. And thank you so much. If you're interested in having a little more company or checking out some of the cool things on my YouTube channel, I have new videos going up from the two um, great Canadian scrapbook carnivals and some store tours and different things like that. And the two stores that I toured in Calgary are like so different. The one is like super streamlined and like all super new and shiny. And the other one is like, grungy and she loves like distressed stuff and old things and so we kind of got a tour to see all of some of the fun um decorations she's put in her store so it like they could not be like more polar opposites and yet it's like all about this awesome thing of scrapbooking so that was super fun to see so lots of things on my youtube channel and that is just scrapbook wonderland so that's the channel name and that's my blog too if you're interested in some of the other things, I know some of the gals that uh, showed up today are from our Scrap Happy membership group. If you're interested in our Scrap Happy group, we have different online activities that we do every month. Scrapbook Live, several of the girls attend this, but we also do a monthly movie night where we talk, we watch some scrappy videos and then we talk about them kind of like a book club. We have a happy hour where sometimes we're chatting together, sometimes we have a guest. It just kind of 
all depends. And then one of our big events that we do a few times a year is our load challenge. That's the layout a day challenge where we make a layout every day for a month. And our next one is just for Scrap Happy members. And that one starts October 1st. So it is a good time to come and see what we're all about. We have a hundred percent money back satisfaction guaranteed thing. So within the first month, if you're like, it's not really my thing, then you can just let me know and I'll give you a refund. Like I want people to be happy. Our goal is to connect scrapbookers, have some fun and to do some scrapbooking. So that's why all of our events are geared around getting people inspired or getting people sitting down to do their scrapbooking. <laughs> Janet says, you won't want a refund. Trust me. <laughs> well, I hope that, but it's always out there just in case, like it might not be the perfect thing for you, but I have a, about 180 gals that say it is. So I, it's a lot of fun and uh, just, just getting the chance to connect with the other scrapbookers is so much fun. So you can always ch check us out at scraphappy.org. Katrina says, we love it. <laughs> yes, we do. And I just, I love being able to do the things that we're doing that that's that's a joy for me so if i'm having fun hopefully everybody else is having fun that's the goal anyways i am going to run oh janet says the load took my scrapbooking to another level like in journaling is that like the biggest thing because that was the biggest thing for me um my journaling went from Oh, journaling is so hard. I don't know what to say on my pages to, oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell this story. <laughs> Janet says the prompts for stories based pages. Yep. That's, it was a turning point for me too. When I first did my first load with Lane back in 2013, maybe it's been a few years since I did my first load and 2012, maybe even like, yeah, it's been a while and I have just loved it since. So yeah, it's awesome. Okay. I am going to run. Thank you so much for joining me for scrapbooking with me and visiting with me today. And if you'd like to catch the next one, you can always go to scrapbookwonderland.com. There's a pink and blue email box. And if you fill that out, you will get the invite to attend our next Scrapbook Live session. Okay, see you everyone. Katrina, 2010. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know, I know, it's so good. <laughs> okay, yeah, bye guys. Have a great day.